Welcome back. Each year, Fort Benning hosts a competition that is so challenging and so grueling that some organizations put on a separate competition before the competition just to see who's tough enough to make their team. Our Ron Andrus is out at the Warrior Training Center where the best get whittled down to the even better. That's right, Susanna. Even though we're still five months out, when it comes to competing in the world's toughest military competition, it's never too early to start preparing. Get ready, get set, begin. We want to produce a winner. National Guardsmen from all over the United States came to Fort Benning recently to see if they have what it takes to compete in the Best Ranger competition. Today they're getting assessed for the Best Ranger competition. What we're doing here at the Warrior Training Center is we're trying to pick the, the three best uh, teams for that are going to represent the National Guard. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is you have to have some type of tryout system so that the competitors get together, they compete against each other, they get a little bit of taste of what it's going to feel like on day one so it's not a surprise to them. The assessment's a valid tool to help get the best team in from the National Guard and that uh, the Warrior Training Center and Fort Benning is the best place for them to train up to get ready for the competition and gives them an edge on other competitors. Land navigation, ranger physical fitness test, obstacle course, road march, stress shoot and the buddy run. These guardsmen are getting a taste of what Best Ranger is all about. We're doing a simulated day one event. You're going to get the feeling at the end of this day what it's pretty much going to feel like at the end of day one of the Best Ranger competition. The trials were a challenge to say the least. I've done other long distance endurance events with triathlons and running marathons but nothing that also involved this extent of military training. I came out and gave it my all. I mean it was definitely probably the hardest day of my military career so far. I mean I've had schools that were harder but over an extended period, but the day, I've never had a day that hard in my life. We're more concerned with a guy that's physically fit now that we can train the skills sets to at, during the train-up period. So that's what we focus on. The key physical events of Best Ranger are kind of pushed together in, into one 18-hour grueling day to give us an idea of who's physically ready now to start the training process. This assessment shows these rangers what they're good at, what needs work, and just how tough the three-day competition is going to be. I definitely know that I can run, I can move, that's not a problem. Those other fine-tuned military skills that I haven't done in a couple of years, I see that I definitely need to refine them, things like brush up on my rifle, marksmanship, land navigation at night. The other skills that make a good infantryman a good infantryman are things that I need to refresh myself on. It's absolutely no joke. Anybody who comes out here and does this and competes in best ranger, it finishes best ranger that you have to put them on a professional level. It takes a professional athlete to do the things that it takes to finish best ranger. In my book there's nothing that compares to best ranger. It's three days of the most grueling physical events you can imagine under extreme stress against some of the top athletes in, in the world and no matter what anybody says a guy that goes to best ranger to compete and he's successful and makes it through he is a, a world-class athlete. The tryouts not only provide the National Guard with the best qualified teams it also levels the playing field. In years past, basically the first state to put their name in the hat was the one that got to go. And what we're trying to do is make it fair across the board for all the states to send anyone they feel could compete uh, so we get the best possible candidate for the competition. Each year the Warrior Training Center works hard to prepare their Rangers well, give them the best possible chance to succeed, and make the National Guard proud. Are you looking for who's going to represent the National Guard the best? It's very significant for me. It's a huge honor to be able to hopefully represent the Warrior Training Center and the Georgia National Guard. I'm looking forward to it. I'm ready to start training up, and uh, I'm pretty motivated. I want to be at the finish line. The top seven guardsmen who made the cut will come back to the Warrior Training Center early next year and begin their intense train up to the best ranger competition. So Ron, can any guardsmen come out and try out for the team? Any guardsman who's Airborne Ranger qualified is welcome to come out and give it a shot. The Warrior Training Center wants strong, motivated Rangers who are physically and mentally up to the challenge to go compete in Best Ranger and win one for the Guard. 